Well, today, media attention is focused on a small city about 60 miles west of Fort Wayne where three siblings died trying to board a school bus. A woman accused of hitting and killing the students last fall is on trial for the deaths. ABC 21's reporter Jeff Newmeyer joins us live from Rochester to update us on what happened today. Jeff? Brian Caitlin, slow going today in the Fulton County Courthouse uh, as part of the jury selection process in the trial of Alyssa Shepard. A six man, six woman jury uh, is now seated, ready to hear evidence. This is one of the biggest court cases in this community in years. Shepard faces three counts of reckless homicide, one count of criminal recklessness, and one count of passing a school bus with its stop arm extended, causing injury. October 30th of last year, Prosecutors say the young woman was cruising down a state highway outside Rochester while it was still dark in the early morning and hit four students who were crossing to get on their school bus. Six-year-old Mason Ingle and his twin brother Xavier died. So too did their older sister, nine-year-old Olivia Stahl. 11-year-old Maverick Lowe was struck, but he was flown to Parkview Hospital in Fort Wayne and survived, though it has been a long, painful road to recovery. Shepard told authorities she saw the flashing lights on the stop arm, but didn't realize what they were until it was too late to avoid striking the children. This case has prompted much sympathy for the families of the victims, but there is compassion by at least some townspeople for the woman facing criminal charges, too. You'll hear from a townsperson here in a minute, but uh, first, you'll hear from the grandfather of the children who died. There's a lot of anxiety knowing what my family's going to be going through in the, in the couple days. I think today it's about frustration about the importance that I feel and we feel about these trials being in an open forum for the public to see, for the media. That's what's really important to, to us at this point. I, I pray for both sides of the family. I feel very empathetic for the kids, their parents, what they've gone through, and her family too. I mean, this is, it affects so many people, not just who's on trial. So, yeah, I feel bad for everybody. Now, if anything good can come from this, it's the fact that uh, new law was enacted uh, following this incident designed to boost school bus safety. There are now tougher penalties for bus stop arm violators and changes to keep kids from having to cross high-speed roads or highways in Indiana in order to board a school bus. Alyssa Shepard's at risk of uh, a prison sentence topping 21 years if she's convicted on all charges. Evidence presentation set to begin tomorrow morning in a trial that we expect to last into Thursday or maybe even Friday. Reporting from Rochester, I'm Jeff Newmeyer. Back to you. A case we will be watching very closely, Jeff. Thank you.